Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. Today we're gonna do a pretty cool project. I'm gonna go ahead and 3D print one of those Lego mans, uh, about 400 times bigger than the typical one, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Hopefully everything goes well, but we'll see how it goes. So I went to Thingiverse and I looked out for Lego man, and I found uh, this really cool one here um, uh, that I'm definitely going to go ahead and print out and see how it works. How it comes out so i might end up doing this in like a three part just to make sure it prints well so i went ahead and i already downloaded the files and i've imported so far the the body and the arms and the reason i set up the arms and the body this way is because um, it's using um less less support so if I remove here the clear supports you're gonna see here that um, the good thing here is I don't have to remove any of the supports inside the body if I actually flip it upside down and the same thing here I don't have to remove it from inside of the arms um, this is <coughs> what I try to do most is trying to avoid um, trying to get it my hands into removing uh, those supports inside anything that's too tiny so I try to always try to go ahead and rotate um, <clears throat> the items or the arms or whatever it is you're printing to the point that it has less braces in order for you to do less work when you have to put it together. So um, I would say this would be uh, part one. Let's go ahead and generate those braces back on. I would say this would be part one. Okay, so this would be part two, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure when I do print this, the head and the hands, I'm gonna use the yellow filament that I have. Um, it's the G, uh, GST3D that I'm using right now. That's the filament that I recommend. It's the cheapest in the market, uh, but it's extremely good quality. Um, you can get it for about $10 uh, a roll. And I'll go ahead and I include those links to kind of show you here. This one does add a little bit of support inside, but it's pretty easy to remove. So I don't mind that part. So let's go ahead and let me show you the part three of this. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the, the pants and the legs. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and use probably a green filament for this using the same filament GST 3D and I'll go ahead and I'll show you what the progress is when I'm done printing it. Alright guys, so I'm printing a Lego a Lego man, one of those little mini figures, but I'm actually I increased the size by uh, 400% so far I went ahead and I printed the, the legs and the body part here that connects to the leg, so it's the pants, and now I'm doing the arms, and I'm doing the head as well. And then I'll print out the body. Once I do that, then I'll go ahead and show you how I put it together and what it looks like for the final product. All right, guys, so here's the current progress right now of the print. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and print the body. You see the hands were printed. The, uh, the arms for the left and the right, the pants for the legs that will go like that, and then the head. Still have to draw the face on there. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the body white. All right guys, so I'm back here with all the printed parts. You see here, you got the, the left arm, the right arm, the hands, the head, Got the body finally printed. Here are the pants. And the legs. So let's go ahead and uh, put it together. All right guys, so I'm back. So uh, here are all the Lego pieces. I had to sand it down a little bit because the body wasn't fitting right. So I'm gonna, gonna show you what it looks like overall. Um, pretty good. Uh, there's been a few mistakes I figured out later um, on how to print it better. Um, 
properly. Uh, so I went ahead, I already put the head in. I did have to make these holes here a little bit bigger because they weren't, the arms weren't fitting. It was too tight, so then I made them too big. So I ended up having to put a little bit of tape around these to actually fit, which it fits good now. Go ahead, put these guys in here. Okay. And then we're gonna put them in. And there you go. Like I said, this area here keeps popping out a little bit. I think that the body here should have been maybe like 1% bigger, where the pants need to be 1% smaller. One or the other, either bigger or smaller in order to make sure that it fits perfect. Uh, but now that I'm thinking about it, um, I think that body, if it was a little bit bigger, I would have had less problems with the arms putting them in. But it came out really good. Um, I can't complain, really. Uh, this is the first time I printed this guy here, so what I really want to do is probably I might end up printing another one um, based on everything I've learned and see how it turns out as well. And I got to go ahead and put in the eyes um, later on. But I, you know, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit like, and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching the Vera Projects.